Right now, Hurricane Ida is moving toward the Gulf Coast. And it could hit New Orleans 16 years to the date after Hurricane Katrina came devastating through the city. And right now, it is striking Cuba. This is video from Havana as the storm rages and it gets closer to the United States. We could feel some of its effects right here in Atlanta, in North Georgia. Our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb, is tracking the storm's projected path. Chris? Yeah, we had a pretty big update that came in at 5 o'clock. Right now, the storm is a hurricane about to move in over the western tip of Cuba. But then as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico, look how it increases to a Category 2, then a Category 3, and it doesn't stop. It comes up to a Category 4 here uh, late Saturday night into early Sunday, and then most likely making landfall as a Category 4 along the Louisiana coastline on Sunday. We do have hurricane warnings in effect there for the Louisiana coast, a tropical storm warning for the Mississippi coast, and then a tropical storm watch in effect for the Alabama coast and the Florida panhandle. The big question for us is what type of impacts could we see as the storm moves inland and then curves up toward the north and to the east of that remnant low? We are in the cone here, which is the margin of error of where that low could go. Right now, I want you to plan on the potential for some rain. That is going to be our highest risk so far. But as the system moves closer to us, we're also going to be watching the wind threat right now. We will classify that as a moderate risk and the storm risk, maybe the potential for severe storms, since we're on the right hand side of the center, that is also a moderate risk. These risks may be coming up, though, depending on the eventual track of the storms.